Morning, Coach. Hey, Robbie. You want to go ahead and uh, start, and then we'll get to some questions. Okay, great. Um, you know, first off, I would just like to address the incident uh, that occurred earlier this morning with Todd Downing. Uh, I've spoken to Todd. I've spoken to um, Miss Amy. John and I have been in communication uh, with her, uh, with the league. Uh, the league has policies uh, with regards to uh, these incidents, and we'll make sure that the league has all the information uh, that they need. I also know that you have um, many specific questions regarding um, the incident, uh, but out of respect to the, the legal process, the, the process that the league has, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to answer um, many of those uh, specific questions. Uh, I will say, however, that um, we all have a great responsibility as members of this community, as uh, coaches and players of this organization, as uh, fathers and husbands and teammates to, to make great decisions. Uh, and we understand that. And so um, I'll do my best to, to answer uh, the questions that you have, but also uh, out of respect to the um, situation, there's going to be some things that I'm not going to be able to talk about. Uh, Teresa? Mike, uh, one question. There is a availability for anyone on the team and in, in the organization that needs a ride to get a ride no matter what time of day it is, correct? Yes, that's correct, Teresa. That's something that um, you know, we had before I got here and something that uh, – you know, we continue to have. So yes, that's that's provided through through our ownership and uh, and the team. Uh, John Glennon. Yeah, Mike, and I know that uh, you're you're somewhat limited in what you can say, but do you does the team or do you have any policy or plans in terms of discipline for Todd Downing, or is that strictly uh, an, an NFL situation? I think that uh, we're working through all of that right now uh, in our conversations that uh, John and I have had uh, also between um, us, uh, you know, our, our president, Burke. And, you know, I, I don't think that we're ready to, to comment on that and what that may look like. Um, again, just remind everybody that the, you know, Decisions that we have to make have to be great ones, and uh, we'll, we'll continue to co have conversations with the league and then also internally. Uh, Terry? Mike, don't know how much you can comment regarding this either, but with it being a legal matter, do you have to let the – does the league policy usually let the legal matter run its course before they uh, institute any form of discipline? Terry, I, I can't – tell you that that's always been the case. I'm not very um, confident on, on that either way. Um, I, I'm not sure how the league goes about that. We'll just comply with whatever that they ask us uh, to do, and then we'll, we'll make a decision uh, and, and figure out what's next. Uh, Corey? Hey, Mike, uh, two things. Um, you said you spoke to Todd. Number one, how is he? <laughs> And number two, can you offer some clarity on what those league policies are? Well, I have spoken to Todd. Um, you know, the, the league policies are that, uh, you know, we're, 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 we're making sure that we're responsible and that we're, we're making great decisions. Uh, we'll continue to work through the league um, with, with our actions and, and our behavior. Um, but, you know, the conversation between Todd and I is just like the rest of it with our staff and our players uh, will remain with, with me. Um, and I'll keep those uh, between Todd and I. Uh, Jill? Coach, have you already talked to the team yet? And if not, how do you plan on addressing this with the rest of the team, especially with them kind of uh, taking a break now before you guys regroup before Tuesday? Um, yeah, I mean, there, there's certain, you know, players that, you know, I reach out to after the game, our, our players are off, um, and I'll make sure that, 
Um, it gets addressed when we get back in here. Still a lot of things that, that we're working through. And, and I know that, you know, Joe, you spent a lot of time around us. So have a lot of you, other you guys. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll try to, um, we'll, we'll address it and, and we'll, um, you know, we'll provide support where support is needed. And um, you know, we'll make sure that um, just as always that there's something that needs to be held accountable. We'll, we'll make sure that, it, that, that that person's held accountable, but we'll, we'll address it obviously. Just haven't had a chance really to, to get the team together and it's just the timing of it. Uh, Chris Harris. Hey Mike, in your experience, <clears throat> both as a player and a coach in the NFL, how often is alcohol on a plane? And if, is there any regulation on how it's served or moderated or anything? Well, I think a lot of these are specifics um, with regards to the, you know, the incident. I think we're all gathering information right now, Chris. Um, so I won't be able to comment specifically um, on this or what was in the past or other places that I've been. Just as a quick follow, just in, in general, how in your experience, how often has alcohol been on the plane? Yeah, um, you know, I know that these are some specific questions that I'm not going to be able to address uh, at this time, just with regards to the league uh, process and the legal process. And, um, you know, very, very, very sensitive to the situation and, and making sure that, uh, you know, we're doing everything that we can to, to provide great decisions in, you know, with ourselves in the community. Uh, Gentry, <clears throat> Gentry. Yeah, Mike. Just, just how discouraging is this for you after a, a, you know, a pretty good win last night to be sitting here talking about this? Um, I don't, I don't think discouraging, uh, Gentry. Um, you know, I don't, I don't want to try to give it an adjective. I, I don't. Um, it's a part of, you know. It, it, it's an incident that come up, came up. Uh, it's, an, it's something that we are going to take very seriously. We are going to um, gather all the information that we can, figure out what the next step is, and uh, and, and do our best to move forward. Um, so I don't think discouraged, um, you know, is something that that I've thought about today. Uh, Teresa? Going to grind gears a little bit here, uh, Mike, but to turn around on a short week and to find a way to win a road game in the fashion last night with the best offensive performance overall that this team's had this season, how nice is it to at least uh, flip a page in that way to see so much contributions? I, I'm extremely uh, happy uh, and proud of our players. Teresa, they, they came in um, Monday. They committed to telling their bodies and their minds that it was a Wednesday and Thursday, and they got to work. And I know that they played a physical game against Denver. Uh, they committed to putting the work into to preparing to, to go on the road and in, in a great environment. And, and I'm extremely happy and, and for them you know, I'm proud of them. And, uh, you know, our body language was, was amazing. Guys were into it. They were straining to get the first, first down and all the things that we talked about and the keys and, you know, it wasn't perfect. We had some three and outs and there was mistakes and, you know, but I, I, guys didn't waver and they, every time they needed to answer, they answered. So, you know, I'm excited from, um, to be able to move forward uh, with that and, and show them, you know, really what they can do. Uh, Corey? I, I'm sorry. I know you hate the injury questions, but Danico has been such a huge part of your football team. Is, is he going to miss time or do you have an idea on where he's at? I, I would expect Corey for there to be some, some time missed. Um, I think that we really um, are, are lucky. Um, I've seen Danico already today. 
So there, there, there may be uh, some time missed, but you know, Nico is usually finds a way to get back uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, Jim. Mike, how'd you like your production? I guess from your receiving core, you know, from Traylon to, to Robert to, to Nick Westbrook or Kene, and, and how much of a jump should that give them uh, confidence wise moving forward? Well, again, we all get confidence by you know, repeated acts, repeated success. Um, you know, they've been working hard. And, um, you know, it was Ryan, Ryan did a great job distributing the ball. It was very accurate uh, last night. He had the, you know, the one mistake, but was very accurate. Um, we made some contested catches when it was zone. You know, we caught it. We drop step. We, we got first downs. Had some plays down the field. You know, so there was really cool involvement from everybody. You know, I thought Hoop had a great catch. You know, contested catch uh, on the sidelines. You know, that he was close on the first down. They ended up making it short, but you know, a lot, a lot of really good things. And you know, they dropped Chig, and we found him, and you know, he ran under that ball. So. A lot of things to build on, but we'll just have to keep going. Uh, Terry? Mike, how big was it that a guy like Trey Avery, who's played very few snaps of, on the defense this year, was able to come in and late in the ball game when Christian went down and make two or three pretty good plays? Yeah, it's just um, it's a testament to, you know, the player um, specifically, but then – you know, Anthony Midget, Scott Booker, Shane Bowen, you know, making sure that these guys are ready to go and uh, making sure that they you know, can can operate when they get in there in, in, a, in a pressure situation. Uh, Sam? Mike, just more specifically with Traylon, with all that he's been through in this rookie season, uh, the ups and downs and then the injury, how, I guess, rewarding is it for you as his coach and for him to finally break a few of those big ones and have a big game in prime time? It, it's rewarding. Um, I think he's building, building a lot of trust in, in us and in who we are and also understanding what this league is. This is, is a very unforgiving league um, if you're not prepared uh, physically and mentally. Um, you know, so hopefully, you know, this is just a good reminder of, of what he can do um, when he's prepared. I, I told you that there were some mistakes during the week um, early on. And um, so I'm proud of the way that he responded, uh, got those things corrected, and was able to go out there and help us win and have some success. Uh, Chris Harris. Mike, in your opinion, was this one of the better games that Ryan has had this season? He looked to be pretty much on point, other than the one interception. Yeah, he was. It was. It was accurate. Um, you know, times where the line allows us to, you know, to uh, progress through. You know, the first third down. You know, he kind of works to the front side, and then you know sees trailing, kind of going through the middle, and and is able to come back and plant his feet and throw that that ball. And so um, I thought that when, when the protection can hold up, you know, you're able to progress through and, you know, I was able to find some guys. Uh, Kayla. Hey coach, um, pretty cool moment for Ben Jones there to be on the FaceTime after that win. I know really tough for a guy like that to miss a game like that. Just your reaction to, to seeing that. And then also what'd you think about Aaron Brewer um, coming in for him last night? Yeah, but I thought, you know, you know how much Ben means to, to me personally and to this football team. Um, you know, we, we, we were, were in constant communication and, um, you know, enjoyed, enjoyed seeing him. And uh, I know he was obviously excited for his teammates. He'll do everything he can to get back and, and be with us on the field. But he's always with us in his spirit and, and his, his – passion for life and passion for football and, and this team. Um, I thought Brew you know, really did a nice job, stepped in there and you know, 
and battled and, and, and did a nice job. Uh, Buck? Yeah, Mike, uh, the, the penalty situation last night, relatively clean. How did, how did you think that they performed from an operational standpoint? The, the Titans or the officials? <laughs> the Titans. Um, well, I mean, the, the penalties on special teams, you, you, we talk about drive start, and that's, that's not going to be good enough, Buck. We, we, we talked all week how we wanted to play with, with penalty-free aggression, and, um, and, and that, that's going to cost us. You, know, you can't start drives inside the 10-yard line, inside the 12-yard line. Uh, but all in all, I felt like you know, we were able to play physical without fouling. Um, we'll have to get the special teams things cleaned up and you know, go on the road and, and be able to work our cadence, and, and we got them to, to jump off sides. Uh, so I thought that there was a lot of positive things there. Uh, John Glennon. Yeah, Mike, a couple of the, the keys for you guys defensively over the last several weeks have been the, the sacks and, and, and picks. Uh, didn't really have, a, you know, a lot necessarily in, in either of those departments last night, but what did you do well that you were still able to, you know, contain that Green Bay offense pretty well? Well, we, 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 we were very competitive against the run. You know, I think you – you know, they you give them a lot of credit. They they put up some big games uh, rushing the football. You know they they come up with some creative schemes. Um, obviously some some good stuff in there that we had to you know get corrected on the sidelines that maybe we hadn't seen. And then um, you know we 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 were okay with we didn't give up a, a ton of big plays. Uh, and we were just good enough on third down to to get off the field and get some stops when we needed it. Uh, Jim Wyatt. Mike, I'm just curious how we just structure things now with a little bit of extra time and, uh, and should the time, or does it make you hopeful that you'll be able to get some guys back uh, for the Bengals game? Yeah, I am hopeful. Um, I'll go check on those guys here after this. Structure wise, the players will be off. We'll be back in on Tuesday, Jimmy. We'll work Tuesday and Wednesday. I want to be able to give them uh, Thursday to spend with their families or loved ones and then uh, get back to work on Friday. Uh, John Glennon. Yeah, Mike, you know, a lot of times earlier in the season, you talked about the X plays allowed and how significant they were. The other side of things last night, how important was it for your offense to kind of show that ability to hit those X plays, you know, especially in the passing game and, and to balance out the, the running game that you guys have? Yeah, I, we've talked about it to, to be able to, you know, put scoring drives together. Um, you're going to have to hit some critical third downs. You're going to have to hit some next plays along the way. And that changes field position, changes momentum. So it was certainly uh, welcome, you know, whether that's down the field or you know, getting a guy on a screen. You know, I thought the, the screen to Derek was, was great. And, uh, and we'll have to keep working on trying to produce those.